God. We start up a stream and the neighbor's dog starts going nuts. It's going to break with Zeus. Uh, more chores to do, but I'm going to break. The dog barks a lot. You should go talk to him. Okay. So, let's see. Um, I saw a few good questions come through on the, um, um, let's see, on the last live stream that I did, I didn't have any time because I was, um, I needed to get a few things done. I still need to get more things done, but I'm taking a break anyways, so a little coffee break with Zeus. My mocha for the day. Um, and let's see. Okay, so chat. So I'm just gonna. I have my other music phone. Um, <laughs> some funny comments come through. Uh, somebody said that Gracie looks like she's the excited kid that gets to go to prom. That's funny. Um, anyhow, she was. She was. Um, when I put everybody out. They all ran around and did their thing. And uh, Gracie, of course, is the most ridiculous. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's a good dog. Okay, so questions. Um, so hi to everybody, and Catherine, and Diana, and Sue, and uh, Samuel, Twinkie. Okay. Yeah, Gracie digs the bridge a lot. So. Gem spear. It's cute when they roll. Yeah. Sometimes they roll simultaneously. And it seems like uh, the organized rolling. So that's kind of funny. Twinkie says it's a beautiful day here. It sure is. It sure is. Martine made it. Fine from all the way over in France. Sorry, I don't get very many uh, live streams done in the mornings. Today was a fluke. It's such a gorgeous day, so why not? Um, yeah, everybody was out to play. And who else was here? Okay, so a lot of uh, comments on the um, the roaring like dinosaurs. I say it a lot. Mostly the girls do it. Most the mares um, make this. They they I think they constrict their throat, and it would be sort of the equivalent of. Um, of uh, what? Of uh, the. <laughs> you guys get the back of Zeus. What's he doing? What are you doing? You want to be on this side? No problem. Um, uh, they, I think that it's like um, cribbing, where they manage to suck some air into their, their gut of some sorts. Same effect, I think. So a lot of, of the mares do it. I haven't seen very many boys do it, but sometimes they'll sort of squeal a little, but it's usually the mares that um, just sound, they literally sound, I, I, I could imagine a dinosaur. I think it would sound like that. Anyways, uh, let's make this quick. I'm going to make this a quick Q&A because then I just got to get on to the rest of the things that I got to do around here. So mostly uh, Ruli does that, but a lot of Peggy. And then um, I lost the dog. Uh, quite a bit of Peggy and then um, once in a while Gracie when she gets sort of up so uh, yeah so as I was I've explained a few times generally when horses get I think they get a little older they get a little grumpier and they like their personal space somebody actually said it perfectly so really is is very sensitive about her personal bubble it's true she's she's very picky on who she lets in how long she lets them in for um, it's actually quite interesting to watch. So, uh, a few people were worried that she was um, uh, messing around with her leg, and I would explained it in the live stream if you didn't catch it there. She's got what's, um, and a lot of horses get it. Um, they get what's called a, a paddock sore or a stall sore, or whatever you want to call these things, where they go to lie down. But when they go to lie down, they sort of bring their uh, pasterns down 
and on the back on their hawks they've got a sensitive spot when they go to kind of roll around or go down and then come back up and um, they'll naturally sort of scrape that up a little bit uh, until it kind of calluses over it's it's quite normal um, and uh, so really is licking that because one of her legs has it more more than um, uh, sort of normal and that's just from a, a phase she's she's had little bits here and there like all of them do uh, piggy's got them a little roni has got them a little luke doesn't have them very much which is interesting and i haven't really noticed them on gracie but for a while lena had them but they tend to just heal up and so a lot of times horses will <laughs> horses will uh sort of uh, maintain their own you can do stuff but sometimes overdoing things um which is kind of really was kind of over cared for um and as such it, it just wasn't it wasn't where it wasn't effective for what needed to be done so she's way better than she's been um but the interesting thing about that is what the only reason i went over there um is because i was watching what luke was doing while with her even though she was yelling at him um but really he's never done that uh that i've really noticed and i see her quite a bit and I thought that's really interesting and then I watched Luke and it's almost like the same concept of entrainment that I talk about a lot where they're moving together well he was kind of uh, soothing together I guess you could say which was really interesting I've never seen that before at least that's the way I interpret it so it was um, yeah it was it was definitely uh, an interesting situation I'm kind of glad I got it on video I'll be able to use it in the future uh, sort of talk or when I ask I have a few questions for some people that I know uh, and that'll be one of them it's one of those things I perceive airplanes that's good um, uh, Sue had asked if Sky's going to be if Sky's going to be part of the herd now actually Sky's leaving at the end of the month he's moving on to his next place which was always the plan in case anybody's wondering He's just temporary here. So that that gets that out of the way. Nobody was coughing. Um, it's just really, really being a dinosaur. Zeus, you can't get the squirrels, man. They're too hot. He tries to get the ones that are up high on the, the line. Such a goof. Okay, I've got a few more minutes here. Let's see. Um, Martina had a good question. <coughs> um, she asked... Uh, because um, uh, I talked about that I was working with Gracie to get her mouth better to be touched and um, Martina had asked has she ever had dental check done before not while I've owned her so um, to me it's it's uh, I'm gonna just line her up with all my other horses so when everybody gets their teeth done they all get their teeth checked and done if they need to be done so I don't there, there's a side of every horse owner that when the vet shows up or the farrier shows up or some caregiver shows up, if your horse isn't well behaved, you get a little embarrassed. You kind of think, ah, I, I wish I'd done better. I wish I'd trained my horse to stand or I wish I'd trained my horse to pick up its feet. I wish I'd trained my horse to be able to just present its mouth and not be a ding dong and lose. I wish I'd trained my horse to have its head touched. I wish I'd trained my horse to, you know, have its stifle touched or, or uh, you know, sheath cleaning or whatever. And so before, he shows up here um my goal is to get her uh her to wear touching her mouth or having my hand in her mouth is just as irritating as it might be to say lena or luke or something who are actually very very good with it uh, so martine no i've i've never um done her teeth uh, or checked them i've looked at them myself and i have you know enough knowledge to be you know kind of like oh, it looks pretty good or that's weird get that checked out so that's sort of where that is um anyways uh twinkie says she'd love to watch gracie get her teeth done i will do my best i'm going to talk to the vet um and ask him if it's cool last time i did it a long time ago with luke and he said he was totally fine to take video so i'm going to try to have a couple of cameras rolling for teeth and we're going to talk a lot about teeth um when that happens i'll probably do a whole series about teeth um, that's more advanced over on Patreon, uh, but the basics I'll definitely show and you guys can get a good idea of um, how it's done. 
So. Uh, somebody dropped in. Said it was named King Ken. Said new here. Did you build it yourself? This place mostly. Yeah. So. <coughs> yeah. So that's about it. Um, I think that's all the questions. So as promised, I want to get back to everybody who who popped in and took the time to write a question or some thoughts. And um, hopefully that's interesting. If you have any more questions, what I was up to, I like to play with the horses without any halter and lead rope on um, because the um, the liberty work, and so I talk about liberty work a lot um, in regards to doing it in a, in a, a, a large, <laughs> I don't know what Zeus is doing. He's He's literally got his back to me, just sitting there, like a lump in the middle of the lawn. Like, what is he doing? Why is he there? What is he thinking? Is he looking at a squirrel? He must be looking at a squirrel. I don't see a squirrel. Oh, but look at that up in the sky. Pretty cool, right? Okay, back to me. So, yeah, so Zeus is... Over there. <clears throat> and I'm just taking a break. Um, so, um, the liberty work, uh, and I try to do it every week for sure. When I chuck them out, um, I like doing it with more than one horse at the same time, along with the normal sort of groundwork or training that I'll do. I like to do it with more than one horse because the horses that are in there can either contribute or pick up what I'm doing. So, if I'm having trouble with a horse, I might. Uh, have Luke nearby and, or Lena for example they're both very calm horses and so with them close by another horse might put up with me more than they would put up with me if that horse wasn't there so and then the other side of it is if I've got a horse that is really bothered I might grab um, a really calm horse or bring him over or whatever I might do bring him over and then I'll I'll mess around with that horse while the not so happy or safe feeling or whatever horse is, is there so they're either contributing or they're picking up so I really enjoy that no rope no halter means that they can leave if I do it in a large space not unlike say a round pen where there's no no real space to get away I mean a 50 or 60 foot round pen they're pretty big don't get me wrong but a full arena and they can choose if they want to go to another horse or leave the whole herd all together um, and uh, I don't I mean I wish I had the last, the last time I did it was actually one of the better times that I've done it. And it was fascinating. I have no video of it, but it was really fascinating. So I'm going to try to replicate that one of these days. But anyways. Today was just some good messing around. I see there's a couple questions that have come through, so I'm just going to quickly tappy tap on the screen here. So don't mind me while I just stare at you here. Why don't you guys stare at the dog? You guys can stare at the back of Zeus. Better than staring at me staring at the screen. Okay, let's check this out. What do we got? What do we got? Who's here? Somebody's here. Supposedly 10 people are here. Um, Patricia's here. Samantha's here. Hello, Samantha. Patricia. Just wondering if it's right that if a person stands an inch or so at the rear of a horse. Fuck. Um, oh, no. Took your question away. What does it say? Message deleted by me? No, I didn't delete it. Oh, I can't see it at all. Um, shoot, I didn't mean to delete it. I can't even read it anymore. It doesn't even show properly. Patricia, can you rewrite your question? I didn't mean to. I don't know how it got. Uh, oh, Debbie in Manchester here. You need to build a swimming pool. We want to watch the horses swimming. <laughs> I was going to build a pool here at one point for horses, but um, I didn't because it's expensive and it costs a pile of money, which I don't have for something like that. <clears throat> horse learning from a horse. Yes. Uh, sort of how you get embarrassed watching your child acting out. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Oh, Kathy, thanks. Appreciate that. Um, Carla says, great video earlier. Thanks, Carla. Yeah, Kathy, thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate every... And I definitely, I'm just, uh, I don't, Patricia, if you don't rewrite your message, I won't, I won't need to, I won't be able to, 
don't know why it happened. Anyways, um, I got a video coming very soon of, of all the things that um, that everybody's contributed to here. It's been a big help. And... Okay, but um, I think that's it. I think I'm done. I got to get going to get to the next thing I got to do. And it's such a beautiful day. It's nice just to be here. Taking a break too. So that's about it. Hopefully that answers everybody's questions for the last stream, even though I didn't have time at that time to take care of it. I have now. Um, I'm almost finished break time. What is it? 15 minutes? Yep. The boss says, get up, get moving. So that's what I shall do. Um, if I didn't answer any questions, if, if you're, if there was something that, um, I did, or you're kind of like, what did you do that for? Or what was this? Or something like that. Let me know. I'm happy to answer. Most of it is just stuff that I'm practicing that I think the horses need practice with. Touching the top of the head, uh, playing with the mouth, playing with the ears, playing with the tail, um, standing around uh, 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 different parts of their body, touch different parts of their body, ask them to move, ask them to back up. All of these things if you don't have, without, uh, without uh, uh, a rope on and stuff like that, then yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun for one, and it's good for you and the horse. Anyways, I gotta leave that there. I have to get going. But thanks everybody for popping in here. Um, I've got to, I gotta go. But I'll be back tomorrow for sure. Probably not anymore today. That's two live streams in one day. So um, that's it. <laughs> again, more questions below if you got them. If not, you guys are cool, then great. Hopefully that helped. I'll see you guys again really soon. Really soon. Bye.